What is up guys, this is Shads from Shads Gaming. Today I'm bringing you another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to use and set up Dropbox. For those of you that don't know, Dropbox is an online storage area which integrates with pretty much any platform that I can think of. So Windows, Macs, Android, iOS, you know, mobile for iOS as well. And you can have all your files synchronized to one storage area in the cloud so in the cloud basically just means somewhere that's not on your computer okay so for those of you that want to get started with dropbox all you need to do is head over to dropbox.com yeah and then what you do is you fill out the sign up page here and you click sign up and it is as simple as that you can also sign up with your google account so if you've already got an existing Google email address or a Google account or something like that you can sign in with your Google account and it'll just have all your settings from Google right there and it'll fill it all in for you so I've already got an account so let's close this page so once you're signed in your page will look exactly like this you do have to verify your account so what I would suggest is when you get to this stage go to you know if you sign up with a hotmail address go to hotmail or gmail go to gmail and verify your dropbox um and it will just give you a couple of extra features that are unlocked okay so dropbox you'll see these two files here these two files are there you know when you start dropbox and you can literally click on them and it gives you a bit of a how to do you know what it's always one thing let's sign in again There we go. So it's gone back to that file again and it said it uh, it needs to open so all open. Just scroll through it and view the file and it gives you a bit of details on how to use Dropbox. And this one will just send you to the website. So Dropbox being online storage gives you a certain amount of storage for all your files. So the way you can tell is it gives you um, 2 gig to start off with which should be more than enough for most people for uploading word documents photos and things like that if you do start to notice that your storage is running out or you're getting up to your limit you can actually click on the upgrade button and it will take you to the Dropbox website and here you've got all the plans so these are the plans for individuals and these are the plans for businesses basically and you can scroll down and it will show you what it gives you yeah you can notice straight off the bat it gives you one terabyte of storage and if you scroll all the way down it'll tell you the other things that it gives you as well and the prices are at the bottom the prices are quite competitive to be honest they're quite good prices just so you don't caught, get caught out please notice that it will actually say build yearly yeah so if you'd like to pay monthly for it you can do click on here you do pay a little bit more for paying monthly and you pay less for paying yearly but with yearly you have to pay 12 months all in one go so if you're choosing this plan here it'd be this much times 12 and that's what you'd pay straight out of the bat okay but then for that you would get increased storage and all the other things with it so let's go back to dropbox so you can use the web interface and upload files to Dropbox and it's dead simple all you click is upload files just here and it basically takes you to a, your you know your browser and you go to where all your files are so for me let's go to the desktop and I could click on Dropbox click open and you can see it was uh, it was doing it. it just did it extremely quickly because it's a small file it's now uploaded this file to Dropbox yeah so you can then click on it and it just opens the file for you straight there in Dropbox now you can do you can do this from your computer as well and there are a couple of ways in which to do it once you have a Dropbox account and you log in it will ask you to install the Dropbox application if you're on Windows I do advise doing this um, it does have its benefits and what happens is it goes down here in the notification area it just there now when you click it, it shows you any notifications 
and click on recent files shows you any recent files you've added and it tells you how long ago you added them as well okay so you can then also click on this folder icon and it opens a specific folder on your computer now that's just for Dropbox so what we can do is let's make this a bit smaller and get rid of that for a moment uh, this picture here space let's say I want to put that in Dropbox I can simply just drag it and drop it to Dropbox you'll notice there is a small little blue icon which let's make it extra large there you go little blue icon here that means it's uploading to Dropbox okay so the bigger the file you've got the longer it's going to take to upload depending on your internet connection speed obviously okay so that's synchronizing with Dropbox and when it's uploaded and it's ready and it's on Dropbox it'll turn into a green tick like these ones here okay so that's one of the ways you can synchronize your files to Dropbox as well which you know a lot of people find a lot easier one of the other ways you can do it is if you right mouse click on the file let's rename this already in Dropbox you right mouse click on the file got this option here move to Dropbox and all you do is click on that and now that's synchronizing with Dropbox as well yeah make this extra large you can see that one's synchronizing but the previous one has now been uploaded to Dropbox yeah so it keeps all your files secure so if something was to happen to your computer let's say a virus or you know your computer was to crash for whatever reason then all your files you know your critical documents would be secure and safe in Dropbox and when you go to another computer as well you can also log into Dropbox and carry on using that document so let's say I'd uploaded this document to Dropbox and I go to I don't know my work computer for instance if your um, work allow you to do things like that if it's not protected you can then go to your work computer and download the file from Dropbox and you can carry on working on it at work and then when you're finished if you still need to do some stuff you can re-upload it back to Dropbox again and carry on working on it whilst you're on your home computer as well if we refresh this you'll notice that that's now been uploaded as well okay so a few other things that Dropbox can do you will notice that all those documents are now on Dropbox on the web straight away for you. You can also share documents with Dropbox as well. So let's say I want to share this image with someone. If I hover over it or hover over any of these, you'll notice there's a share button keeps popping up. So this one, for instance, if I click share, it brings this up. So I can email a link to anyone I like, or I can create a link. And now it's created it so it says here anyone with the link can view this file I can go into link settings and I can change that yeah but to do that you'll notice it does say upgrade to Dropbox professional to enable permission settings so certain features they do make you pay for okay so I can't do that at the moment because I've not got professional yeah it's just my I've, I've got a standard version of Dropbox like anyone else will have when they first sign up so we'll click cancel what you can do is you can click copy link and you'll notice it's been copied so now you could give that to your friend or your you know someone you want to show this picture to they can click on the link and it will take them straight to your Dropbox and show them this picture exactly like that okay they can write comments as well so they can put comments on pictures and things like that so when we click on the three radio buttons next to an, a document or an image or anything like that you can see it says download so you can download it back to your computer you can add a comment to it you can star it which means it's like you know something you use all the time version history so version history will show you if you know if you've had it on another computer you've updated it and it's gone back to Dropbox it will show you all the versions and the changes can rename the file you can move it you can copy it and you can delete it now you can create folders within Dropbox to store things in so for instance over here look you can see there's new shared folder new folder and show deleted files Dropbox will store all your files for 30 days by default so if you delete something and then click on show deleted files it will show anything that's been deleted now I'm not quite sure why it's showing all the files that I've got because 
they're not deleted. Oh, yeah, okay. So what that does is if they have been deleted, you click on show deleted files and it will show them with all your other files, but we don't need to do that. So let's create a new folder. And then it's asking me to name the folder. So um, let's call it Dropbox Tutorial. Hit enter. And it's created the folder for us. So what we can do now is let's say we want this document. You just put a tick uh, this picture. You just put a tick next to it. And this document to go into this folder. You can just drag and drop them like that. Or you can not do that. Do you know what? You used to be able to click here and then just click on move. But I think they've changed that to an individual file. Let's have a look. So, yeah. So, now if you want to move more than one file, you have to select them and then drag and drop. Like So, if you want to move an individual file, though, you can still drag and drop if you want. Or, what you can do is you can click on the three buttons next to it and click on move. And it'll ask you where you want to move it to. Like so. And now it's gone. Just drag and drop this one. That's gone as well. So if we open this folder now, you will see both the files are now in there. You can upload directly to this folder as well. So while you're in the folder, you can literally click upload and your files will then upload straight into this folder. You can share the folder as well. So if you have holiday pictures, for instance, and you've got 100 holiday pictures in here, and you don't want to share each picture individually you can just share the folder and then you can create the link like we did before and then copy the link settings yeah copy the link give it to whoever you want or you can put someone's email address in there and send them the link via email let's go back to Dropbox here you'll notice it's on my files here yeah that's the default bit that uh, it lands on sharing when you go to sharing I've not got any shared folders. But if I click on files, I've got no shared files. Click links because I've shared this one. It's also put that in there. File requests. As it says here, invite anyone to upload files to your Dropbox, even if they don't have an account. I would say if you're going to do that, make sure that whoever you allow access to do that, you trust and they aren't just going to use up all your space on things that uh, don't really need to be taking up your space and deleted files will show all your deleted files it says here look you have up to 30 days to restore your deleted files to keep files up to 120 days or go to upgrade to Dropbox professional okay so you do get a few perks with upgrading but really if you don't need the extra space and you don't need the extra features it's really not worth it We'll go back to my files again one thing we've not looked at is the settings or anything like that so if we click on this little face up here you'll notice it comes to all your settings so we can click settings and it says to you you know you can use notes and collaboration and stuff like that close that so it tells you all your information here so your name email address Date format, so I'm from the UK, but you know anyone else, you know, you change the date format. So if you're from America or anything like that, you can change it. Uh, early releases, what that is basically is new Dropbox features that aren't released to the public yet. If you wanted to try them, you can do. Just turn that on, like so. Uh, view info on for all files I own. So it allows you to see who's viewing your files, if you've shared anything with anyone. And then also if you need to, if you want to, you can also delete your Dropbox account as well. Yeah, by clicking delete and it'll ask you to verify by putting your password in. If you click on plan at the top, it just tells you what plan you're on. And it shows you basically the more you fill up Dropbox, the more this will change. So basically it'll go blue all the way across in different colors depending on what the files are so normal files that you've uploaded with this blue color here shared files will be more of a sky blue and then unused space is this white color basically okay you can earn more space 
okay so it says here you can earn more space by referring your friend to Dropbox you'll get 500 megabytes bonus when they install Dropbox on their computer so if you know two people that want to use Dropbox if you click invite a friend and put their email address in and send it what will happen is when they install Dropbox you will get additional space so instead of 2 gig you'll have 2.5 gig when one person installs it 3 gig if two people install it and so on and so on and I think you can do that up to 16 times I believe uh, you can also upgrade your plan like we showed you earlier security yeah it shows you all your stuff so uh, you can review your Dropbox security settings change your password you can enable two-step verification I always think that two-step verification is a must if you have the option to use two-step verification use it what will basically happen is when you have two-step verification on when someone tries to log into your Dropbox it will send you an email and go this is the code that you need to put in and it will ask you to put the code in and then it will allow you to go onto Dropbox okay it tells you the devices that you logged in on notifications you can change all your notification settings here so I've got them all ticked and by default they're all ticked as well so if you're running out of space it'll send you an email you know I delete a large number of files it'll send you an email and so on and so forth yeah and then connected apps as well you can connect your Gmail account Outlook Yahoo things like that to Dropbox as well so you can automatically upload stuff straight to Dropbox instead of having to come to the web browser or anything like that so that's the settings install what that will do is it'll install the application onto your onto the system which you're currently on so for me Windows I already have it installed so I don't need to do that and let's go back home uh, sign out well that's pretty self-explanatory and this little face will stay here until you upload an image from your computer so if I was to upload an image it would then put that image where the account smiley face is instead you can also search for items in Dropbox as well so for this one for instance if I type in space it's found the picture that's in the Dropbox tutorial so if I click that Firefox prevented it from opening what's it did. there we go so it's took us to it and it's opened the file straight away okay and that about wraps up the tutorial for Dropbox if you like this video and you find it handy subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below and until next time see you guys later